Right, okay, let's have a catch up and let's talk about the Chequers deal because everyone knows that the Chequers deal is pretty much crap for everyone. It, <clears throat> it is leaving the EU and not having a say in the EU but continuing to obey by the rules and probably doing, trying to negotiate with the EU from a completely disempowered position. And I know we're putting a lot of focus on no deal Brexit at the moment and how bad it is. And I know that you're all noticing the Brexiteers saying Chuck Checkers, Chuck Checkers. But there is a risk that that Chuck Checkers doesn't actually happen. And despite their alarmism, Checkers actually goes through and that's what we end up doing. Now, I'm going to tell you why that would be a huge problem. So first of all, um, Chequers is not soft Brexit, it is hard Brexit in the purest sense that it is leaving the single market and it is leaving the customs union. That's the intention. The thing is that Chequers is a hard Brexit with a soft landing. That soft landing is what is being used to entice people to get on board. It is that common rule book for a while. It is that customs arrangement of some sort that were half in, half out, in order to make it appealing to business, in order to make it pe appealing to people in the middle. Now, the hard Brexiters are concerned that if we do checkers, then basically we come out with a hard Brexit onto that soft landing and stay on the soft landing and don't get up and don't move because it's reasonably comfortable for businesses because they haven't been too badly disrupted and it's reasonably comfortable for Parliament because they don't want to go through the aches and pains of doing you know, another step of Brexit and we just might get stuck there effectively on that crash mat in quarantine forever and then they're not getting what they want and the Remainers are saying, well look, this is just like uh, being in the EU but without having any say whatsoever. And they may be fearing that the Remainers would use that as a launch pad to try and get back in. And they would be rightly fearful about that, because I certainly would. So why is Theresa May taking us to a place that less than one in ten people actually want as a solution and actually might take us there, really get us there? Is it because Theresa May is just um, a Ramona? Um, Partly yes um, and partly no. No, in that Theresa May does genuinely want Brexit. She wants to do Brexit. Brexit is her mission. It is her calling. This is what she wants to achieve, right? And so she is thinking of ways to maximise the possibility that Brexit happens on her watch. And Chequers actually effectively is that. And I thought she had a very good chance of doing it when she pulled everyone together for the checkers ban. I thought she could take this fudge over the line and then maybe open it up to a hard Brexit later if, if there was energy for it. But when that got blown up after two days, I thought, right, that's the last chance saloon for being um, very, very likely for Brexit to happen. She wants Brexit. She wants to find conservative support for Brexit and maybe some Labour support for Brexit and some business support for it and some kind of solution to the Irish board and something that the EU can sort of agree to uh, at least to get into a transition phase and then she's done her job and, and she stays there. And that's the Ramona bit that comes in um, because she doesn't believe in all, all the Brexit crap. Um, when she's been asked, you know, would she vote Remain or Brexit? She's mum. She does not believe in um, all of the, the, the fantasy economics of the Minford crowd. She doesn't believe that, that it's a, a wealthy world out there if we just trash all the regulations that we have at the moment. So she is not driven by that end point of getting to Brexiteer fantasy land. She is driven by the end point of Brexit means Brexit, so I am going to do it. And then when I've done it, I'll say, no, -huh, over to the other people. That's what she wants to do. And that's why we could get all led in to this dangerous zone because Theresa May is not the only one who thinks like this. There are lots of other people within the Conservative Party and within Labour 
and within business that would go along with this. They know it's suboptimal, but they would take us there. Um, they don't have backbones. There are people in the Conservative Party who know that this is probably a step down, but they're not going to stand up to it and take the flak from their constituencies or take the flak from the ERG. It's all too complex. It's all too confusing. Let's Brexit has to be done. So let's just do whatever it takes to get us over the line. Then we can say we've done it. There are people within the Labour Party muddling in the middle who would probably go along with that as well. And that's what the government are relying on. And most dangerously, there are people within business um, who are increasingly thinking, right, no deal Brexit looks really bad. Checkers at least puts us in that sort of single market rule book zone and maybe customs union zone that means that we can continue to operate and maybe we can stay there on the crash mat operating indefinitely, indefinitely like that. I don't care about the nation's uh, democratic say or, or its sovereignty or its power as such. In terms of my business, maybe I work internationally and I can petition it from the EU angle, but I'm looking at my profit margin and managing to keep going, so I will take this. And here is the danger that the more we focus on the absolute clusterfuck, essentially, that is a no-deal Brexit, particularly a no-deal Brexit without any extension, so we're coming up to it quickly with lack of preparation, the more checkers looks like just a relief from that. Um, and people would say, we'll take it. Or even if it's checkers modified, taking the nation out of the EU with blindfolds on about where we're actually going, but just with a lot of warm words like excellent agreements and all rabbits are fuzzy and rainbows are nice and we can sign off on this and we can agree that dogs go woof. And then people say, oh, They've got a lot of agreements that they've lined up here. They agree on a lot of stuff. A deal has been done. There's the picture of the handshake. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. That's the danger. So we actually do need to put in a lot more effort into also chucking checkers and killing it dead because that is an option that we do not want to go walking into. We are probably better off killing that and having the sort of stand-up fight between the crazy no deal scenario and remain because we've got much better chances at booting the whole lot of Brexit if the choices are that clear. Right, thanks.